How do you interpret data from an LCMS? Have you ever wondered how scientists make sense of complex chemical data? Today, we will unravel the process of interpreting data from liquid chromatography mass spectrometry, commonly known as LCMS. This powerful technique is essential in material science and chemistry education, especially for material testing and characterization. When you analyze a sample using LCMS, the first step is understanding how it works. Liquid chromatography separates chemical compounds in a sample, while mass spectrometry identifies and quantifies them. The result is a wealth of data that requires careful interpretation. The primary output you will encounter is the chromatogram. This graph plots the intensity of detected ions against their retention time. Retention time indicates how long it takes for a compound to travel through the chromatography column to the detector. Each peak in the chromatogram represents a different compound present in the sample. Along with the chromatogram, you will also receive mass spectra. These spectra display the mass-to-charge ratio of ions detected at each point in the chromatogram. The height or area of peaks in the mass spectrum indicates the abundance of ions at specific mass-to-charge values. To interpret the data, start by examining the chromatogram. Identify when different compounds elute from the column. Each peak's retention time can help you match it to known standards or reference data. Next, look at the mass spectrum that corresponds to each peak. The mass-to-charge values in the spectrum will help you determine the molecular weight and potential identity of the compound. For instance, a peak at a mass-to-charge ratio of 180 might indicate a molecule with a molecular weight of 180 daltons. In practice, software is often used to process the raw data. This software can assist in integrating peak areas, matching spectra to databases, and quantifying the amount of each compound present. This capability is particularly useful in materials science and chemistry education. You might use LCMS to test the purity of a sample, identify unknown substances, or study reaction products. LCMS is known for its sensitivity and selectivity. It can detect very small amounts of compounds, even in complex mixtures. This makes it suitable for analyzing everything from small organic molecules to large biomolecules like proteins. In educational settings, Students often use LCMS to confirm the identity of synthesized compounds, check for impurities, or study the composition of materials. When interpreting LCMS data, always consider the context of your experiment. Compare your results to known standards, utilize reference libraries for mass spectra, and be aware of possible interferences or artifacts. This careful approach helps ensure accurate identification and quantification of compounds in your sample. Practical applications in chemistry education include using LCMS to confirm the success of a synthesis, analyze environmental samples for pollutants, or characterize new materials. By mastering the interpretation of LCMS data, students gain hands-on experience with a powerful analytical tool that is widely used in both academic and industrial laboratories.